thank you. In the last few moments, the Mexican foreign minister has said he will not accept a new American immigration proposal. Earlier, a senior advisor to President Trump revealed the new plan will have the same basic policy, same outcome, as an earlier highly controversial one struck down by the U.S. courts. Joined from Washington by Ali Nurani, executive director of the National Immigration Forum. Hello to you. Thank you for joining us on Sky okay, News at 5. Um, Looks as though we're going round again, as I was just saying to our correspondent. Mexico is not going to accept what the president is saying. Well, what the president has done this week is really move into an implementation phase the executive orders that he signed over the last couple of weeks. And what that means for the Mexican national community here in the United States that is contributing enormously to our economy is that people are incredibly afraid. Um, and when, you know, for example, along the, pa the U.S.-Mexico border, we are reading stories of businesses in El Paso that are suffering because of the incredible tension between the U.S. and Mexico and the pending implementation of these executive orders. Mm. Although this is what the American people voted for. He spoke uh, long and hard about this wall as he campaigned right around the country. And that's what people wanted to hear. Well, when you look closely at the data, even 50% of President Trump's supporters in the primary election have serious concerns regarding his immigration uh, positions and these policies that are being rolled out. So yes, President Trump is our president. He was elected on this platform, but now we are going to see the economic consequences and also the public safety consequences of these executive orders. And you know, these orders destabilize our workforce and frankly do very little, if anything, to improve the public safety of the United States. He does talk also um, about adding a tariff, perhaps 20% on goods that are coming from uh, Mexico into the United States. Now, on first reading to me, that looks as though that's a penalty for the American people as opposed to for the Mexican people because he says that's what he's going to do in order to finance the wall. What's your reading of it? Well, in the United States, uh, over f nearly 5 million jobs depend on trade with Mexico. So to all of a sudden put down a 20% tariff on goods coming from Mexico means that the price of those goods is going to go up, and then, therefore, the trade between the two countries will, will decrease. So ultimately, if President Trump was to move forward with this type of a tariff, he would actually be hurting the American worker. And I, I have to believe that that is the last thing that he wants to do. What about illegal immigration? He says he's going to use something like 100,000 army personnel to round up what he describes as illegal immigrants and send them back primarily to countries like uh, Mexico is also taking on the mayors of um, sanctuary cities like Boston and New York as well and saying I'm telling you you can't keep them there they ha are going to have to go back to places like Mexico as I said well, we work with over 65 police chiefs and sheriffs across the country, and these individuals have taken an oath to serve and protect their communities. In order to do that, they need the trust of the entirety of their community, whether they are a U.S. citizen, a documented immigrant, or undocumented immigrant. If Trump was to move forward with this type of a massive immigration enforcement action, in essence a deportation force, like he said over the campaign, these individuals will go further underground, not report crimes that they witness in their communities, and as a result, Americans and their families living in these cities are less safe. There's a much better and a much smarter way to improve the immigration system, shrink the haystack, and really to find the violent criminals who are public safety threats, not to chase down 8 to 11 million people. Up until now, the courts have not allowed him to do what he wants to do as far as uh, immigration and border control is concerned. How do you see that developing? Is uh, about to have another go? Well, I think we're going to see how Congress reacts to all of these orders. Uh, um, you know, in order to implement these interior enforcement uh, F, uh, orders, much less the border wall, uh, the president, the administration will need funding from Congress. I think Republican Democrats are going to seek a more constructive approach that, yes, uh, secures the nation, but actually improves the economy so that ultimately the American worker and their family uh, prospers. And this wall that we hear so much about, that we've heard so much about over the, the last year. Initially, he said uh, Mexico was going to pay for it. Then he said, OK, America will pay for it in the short term. It's going to cost many billions of dollars. And then uh, it will be recouped from uh, Mexicans in all sorts of myriad of different ways. That will be something that will be discussed today with the Mexicans. How do you see that story developing? Well, at this point, it seems that uh, the president is going to go to the American taxpayer and ask Americans to put spend anywhere between 20 and 30 billion dollars on a wall that 
has been proven by, by experts to do actually very little to improve uh, our border security. If he wants to invest dollars, he can spend $6 billion on ports of entry so that you know, the places where we actually see the majority of drugs, guns, and money being smuggled, those are the points where, which we need to fortify and secure. Uh, I think that you know, the president is making a, an aggressive sales pitch, but at the end of the day, this is a very bad deal for the American taxpayer. Good to talk to you. Thanks for taking the time to join us here on Sky News at 5. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you.